Welcome everybody to Volatility Trading Strategies. So we have a historic situation building here in the volatility market, and that's not a clickbait exaggeration. The relationship between the front month VIX futures and the VIX index is stretched to extreme levels right now. And in the trading world, whenever we see extreme highs or extreme lows, that typically means there may be an opportunity for profit. Now, these videos do take a little bit of time to put together. So if you'd be so kind and just smash that like button for me to let the YouTube algorithm know that people appreciate volatility related content. So do that now and let's get into why the next few weeks are going to be so interesting for volatility trading. So the first thing I need to do really quickly here, and this will be a good reminder for you even if you know this stuff already, is that I do need to go over both how the VIX futures expiration cycles work, as well as how volatility ETPs like VXX and UVXY work. Both of those pieces of information are required in order to understand why these volatility products may be juiced for some nice profit going forward. So this is the familiar VIX futures term structure. Each one of these points on the curve represents a monthly VIX futures expiration. So that front one is the September VIX contract, then October, November, all the way out to next May. Now these futures are constantly moving down the line as time goes by. But the most important part of this process is, this front month M1 VIX future will converge to the VIX index price at expiration. So on expiration day, M1 and VIX will be the exact same value. And then from there, the M1 VIX future expires and drops off the board completely, and the current M2 becomes the next month's M1. M3 becomes M2, M4 becomes M3, all the way down the line and the next cycle starts fresh. Now the second part of this is how volatility ETPs actually work. Remember, the volatility ETPs like VXX and UVXY, they don't derive their price based on the normal supply and demand dynamics in the market. I know that'll sound strange for some of you, especially if you're used to trading stocks or indexes, but these volatility ETPs are very unique securities and they derive their price entirely on the value of the VIX futures that they hold. So structurally, VXX and UVXY function exactly the same way. The only difference between them is that VXX is a one times leverage factor and UVXY is a 1.5 times leverage factor. So I'll use the VXX as the example today, but just remember that everything I say applies exactly the same to UVXY as well, just at a 1.5 times leverage factor. So with respect to VXX, the only two VIX futures we focus on are those front two months. I call them M1 and M2, but you may also see people call them VX1 and VX2. That's just semantics. So how the VXX works is, at the beginning of the new monthly VIX cycle, the VXX is holding 100% of the front month M1 VIX future and 0% of the M2 VIX future. Then with each passing day, it rolls a small portion of its holdings and will be holding slightly less of the front month M1 future and slightly more of the second month M2 future. In the middle of the cycle, it's holding roughly 50% of M1 and 50% of M2. This process keeps going, and on the last day of the monthly VIX cycle right before expiration, VXX is holding nearly all of the second month M2 future and almost none of the front month M1 future. And then on expiration, the M1 VIX future drops off the board completely. M2 becomes the new M1, and the VXX is once again holding 100% of the new front month M1 contract and 0% of the new back month M2 contract. All right, so if you don't understand that stuff, please don't be discouraged. This stuff is not common knowledge, and it may take a little bit of time to absorb. And just a side note, before we proceed down this rabbit hole, we do talk about this stuff pretty regularly within the VTS community. So if volatility trading interests you, there is a free trial for my service on the website. You're more than welcome to join us anytime. But okay, now that we know how the VIX futures expiration cycle works, as well as how the volatility ETPs derive their price, Hopefully you're putting those two things together in your head and you're asking yourself, well then wouldn't that mean that the highest potential for profit when shorting volatility is when those VIX futures are really high above the VIX index? Yes, I'm glad you're paying attention. That is exactly right. Since this front month M1 value and the VIX index value will be exactly the same on expiration day, it means that the higher above the VIX futures are, the more potential for profit there is as we converge towards the spot VIX at expiration. Now remember, VIX futures are a free and open market, and the VIX index is calculated based on S&P 500 options, which are also a freely traded market. So when there is a gap here between these two levels, it doesn't necessarily mean that M1 will go down to meet the VIX and everybody will make easy money. Perhaps the VIX goes up to meet the M1, or maybe something in the middle. Any and all combinations are totally on the table here. 
But what it does mean is the potential for profit is higher when the futures are well above the VIX. So just how high are the VIX futures above the VIX index right now? Well, as I said in the intro, we are at historical levels. This is a chart showing the M1 VIX future minus the VIX index. Essentially, this is how high above the VIX the M1 future was going all the way back to the launch of VIX futures in March 2004. So right now, M1 is 3.99 points higher than the VIX. That's in the 99.7th percentile of all values back to 2004. There's only been six instances in the last 17 years that we've seen a higher gap. And this chart is showing the same thing, but this time, this is the second month VIX future we call M2. Remember, M2 is also in the methodology for how VXX and UVXY derive their price. And for M2 minus VIX, last Friday was the highest reading we have ever seen. It's the 100th percentile. You see what I mean now when I said it's a historical situation in the current volatility market. So what does this mean? Well, if the front two months of the VIX futures that the VXX is holding are way above the VIX index right now, and we know that that M1 contract will converge to the spot VIX three weeks from now, then that means there is some potential for some pretty sweet short volatility profit. If the VIX just stays where it is right now in the low 20s, and the VIX futures do converge towards it, well, that's how the short vol trade makes money. But here's the catch, and the title of this video will be something along the lines of, big profit potential for short volatility unless dot 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 that last bit the unless part refers to the fact that both the vix futures and the s p 500 options market are free to move around based on buying and selling behavior and we can add to that that we do have an upcoming election which no doubt is contributing to this extreme situation but anyway regardless we do know that the potential is there what you want to be focusing on over the next few weeks, or months and years if you have interest in this stuff, is you'll want to track what's called the VX30. VX30 is a 30-day constant maturity VIX futures contract that takes into account both the M1 and M2 VIX futures that VXX and UVXY hold. And it also takes into account the days to expiration in the VIX futures cycle. So the true methodology of VXX is how the VX30 value moves around. M1 and M2, and basic contango backwardation, those are the easy to understand points, sort of the Twitter version, if you will, of the short volatility trade. But if you really want to understand what's going on and make a profit, you have to dive into the VX30 calculation and what we call roll yield. Now, I do have several public articles in my volatility dashboard on my website. You can read those and go as deep as you want with this stuff. But where VX30 goes in the next few weeks will determine how much short vol profit is made. And no surprise, as you can see in this chart, the VX30 minus VIX is also basically as high as it gets. It's in the 99.9 .9 percentile right now. So that's where we're at right now, with a historically high gap between those VIX futures and the VIX index, which is well below it. Now, that doesn't mean that profit is guaranteed. Far from it. There's a lot of uncertainty right now, and that VX30 contract can pretty much go anywhere at this point. Remember, VIX futures are not predictive. They only show us that if everything stays the same, what we can actually expect going forward. So if that's the case and everything does sort of remain stable over the next few weeks, at that point we can say that the short volatility trade should do pretty well. And if you're going to be short volatility here, there are ways to manage the risk. Don't leave yourself overly exposed if the market happens to do the opposite and everything blows up. These are just a few of the videos I've made on this YouTube channel, but I'd start with those three videos on safer ways to short volatility. VXX puts versus short VXX, four ways to short volatility, and don't short UVXY. And in the interest of full disclosure here, my tactical volatility strategy is short volatility right now. We have been for quite a while. So I too will be hoping that this VX30 ends up converging down towards the VIX for a nice profit. This strategy has been crushing it for nine years now with very low drawdown since it launched in January 2012. In fact, we're up 50% in the last one year with a maximum drawdown of just 4%. Now, I have several hundred articles and videos teaching these volatility concepts, so feel free to dive in. But if you do feel like this stuff seems too confusing to you and you want to just hitch a ride with our tactical volatility strategy, feel free to claim your free trial on the website and check out some of our live trades. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching the video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out my website right here. There's tons of articles and videos on there, as well as a free trial to join the VTS investing community. What have you got to lose? Come see how I personally navigate these unruly markets. See you next time.